How was your physics exam? Comment below of 2022 question paper. What I found was the question paper was very very easy. Why? Because whatever questions came, they came from the questions, important questions which I had uploaded in yesterday's video. Okay, you can verify it. Most of the questions came from the important questions of the PDF which I had uploaded yesterday. Okay, so let us solve those questions. First question was, what would happen if ciliary muscles do not function properly? The answer, already I uploaded the same answer in the PDF. If ciliary muscles do not perform contraction and expansion, focal length of the eye lens does not change. And human eye can see the objects at specific distance only. Eye cannot see the objects either nearer or at farer distance. Second question, write about two uses of con convex mirror. That also I said that it will definitely come. So it came. So applications or uses of convex mirror are, they are used in ray review mirror of vehicles and used as spoon bulged outwards. Any two you can have written. Okay. Next. Third question, write the required materials in the experiment acids react with metals. I had told you to prepare all the experiments of acids and bases and I had provided the PDF also. So what are the materials required for acids with uh, metals? The materials required are, this is my answer, test tube, delivery tube, glass trough, candle, soap water, dilute hydrochloric acid, and zinc granules and cork. Okay, these are the my materials required. Answer 3. Uh, next, question 4. Complete the following ray diagram. I told you ray diagrams are important. Left part was given. I have to write, draw the right part. So, this is my answer. When rays are coming, okay, what will happen? They will meet at a point called as focal plane. Okay, see all these rays will meet here. This you have to draw and these remaining rays. Okay. Fifth question, what would happen if the metals like copper and iron do not get oxidized? Guess and write the reason. So if metals like copper and iron are not oxidized, then ionic forms that is Fe plus and Cu plus will not be available in nature and corrosion of these metals won't take place. So we cannot perform the reaction between the copper and iron in the presence of H2SO4 because whenever we perform reactions, we need ions either plus or minus. So we will not find out metal oxides because copper will not react with oxygen and also iron will not react with oxygen. So metal oxides won't be formed. This you have to write. Sixth question, observe the following table and answer the following questions. Here, name of the substance and pH value is given. Distilled water, pH is 7, vinegar, pH 4.5, sodium hydroxide, pH 13.7. Question first is, vinegar is added to distilled water. If methyl orange indicator is added to the solution, what will be the color of the solution? So for writing this answer, you should know vinegar is which substance? Is it acidic or basic? Vinegar is acidic substance. And... Whenever we add methyl orange indicator to acidic substance, what happens? The acidity of the substance decreases. So initially, it was of red color because vinegar is a strong acid. So the red color changes to purple color when, when a methyl orange indicator is added to acid. Remember, whenever methyl orange indicator is added to acid, what happens? The color of the solution is strong acid. The color of the solution changes from red to purple. Okay. And uh, second bit is according to the given pH values, what is the nature of the substance? So you should write if pH is 7 for distilled water, uh, substance uh, nature is neutral. Okay. The nature of the substance of vinegar is acid. The nature of the substance of sodium hydroxide is base. Why? Because neutral means pH is 7. As I told you in the video also, yesterday's PDF, acid pH is 4.5, base pH is 13.7. And also I told you about, uh, to learn about methyl orange indicator, right? So if you have knowledge of methyl orange indicator, you can have written this answer. Anyways, any three you have to write, okay? So you can get full marks. Draw the shapes of S and P orbitals, okay? Here, S orbital, you have to draw X axis, Y axis, Z axis, PX orbital, okay, dumbbell shape. This is also dumbbell, this is also dumbbell. These are all the PX orbitals. These five diagrams, if you draw, you'll get full marks. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच मिरर इज सूटेबल फॉर ओके सॉरी मैनी मैंशन एनी फोर यूजेज ऑफ लेंसेज इन डे टू डे लाइफ लेंसेज मीन्स आई दू कैर एव रिटर्न अबाउट कॉन्वेक्स लेंस और कॉन्केव लेंस एनी फोर यूजेज यू हैव टू राइट एंड सेंस इट इज अ फोर मार्क क्वेश्चन यू कैन और यू कैन नॉट राइट द रीजन इट्स योर विश बट फोर यूजेज हैव टू बी देर सो टू यूजेज आई हैव शेड इन द पी डी एफ दे आर यूज इन प्रोजेक्टर्स एंड दे आर यूज इन कैमरास ओके एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू कैन राइट दे आर यूज फॉर करेक्टिंग आई डिफेक्ट्स दे आर यूज एज मैग्नीफाइंग लेंसेज दे आर यूज इन माइक्रोस्कोप्स टेलीस्कोप्स पैनिक्लॉर्स दे आर यूज इन सिनेमा प्रोजेक्टर्स एंड कैमरास नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज या वॉट वुड बी द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ कार्बन एंड नाइट्रोजन इफ यू डू नॉट फॉलो हंस रूल गैस एंड राइट सो द आंसर वॉज दिस ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो हैड शेड ओके ऑलमोस्ट ऑल क्वेश्चन हैड शेड इन एस डी एस पी डी एफ विच आर कम इन दिस बोर्ड एग्जाम सो हियर दिस इज माई आंसर फॉर नाइट्रोजन वॉट आई हैड टू राइट फॉर नाइट्रोजन actually this is a wrong electronic configuration if you do not follow hun rule we get this electronic configuration okay you have to write this answer answer number 4 okay this is the correct electronic configuration this is the wrong electronic configuration and similarly you have to write for carbon also okay what is the uh, electronic configuration of carbon the electronic configuration of carbon is hydrogen helium lithium beryllium boron carbon Atomic number is six. Here, atomic number is seven, right? So, how it will be? One s two, two s two. Next, you have to write. You'll get two p two, right? Two p two. You'll get. So, one second. Yeah. Uh, the wrong one will be this. One s two for what? For carbon. Wrong electronic configuration. That is asking, na? Two s two and two p. Two, it's asking, right? So you could have written both of them in this only. But actually, what is the correct one? You have to write one here and one here. But the wrong one is if you write both of them in one table only. That is, this is the wrong one in two p two. You have to write in both in one orbit only. Okay. Next question is. write the chemical equation of the reaction when hydrogen reacts with oxygen and form water i had given you three examples in pdf and also explained you how to draw balancing and also balancing came in practice papers and pre finals also so you could have easily done this so the reaction was given as hydrogen plus oxygen gives rise to water h hydrogen is h2 oxygen is o2 water is h2o how to do step 2 write the name of the element hydrogen oxygen number of atoms lhs rhs hydrogen is 2 rhs hydrogen is 2 oxygen LHS two, oxygen, RHS. How many are there on RHS side? One is only there, so one. Next, what to do? Since number of atoms on oxygen on LHS and RHS is not equal, so make this as two. How to make this as two? Multiply this with two on RHS of oxygen. So that I am doing. Multiplying two, so it becomes one two is a two. Now write the reaction after multiplying with two. It becomes H two plus O two giving rise to. Always write before the compound on the RHS. So before oxygen, I am writing two. Okay, before the compound. Still, if I see here, the number of atoms on hydrogen now have become two two is a four on RHS. And how many are number of atoms on LHS of hydrogen? Only two are there. So hydrogen has become unbalanced now. So make this as four. How can we make this two as four? We can multiply this two with two. So now multiply this two with two so that it becomes four for balancing the equation. That only we are doing here. See, after seeing the chemical equation, I have written the information. Okay, then I am balancing it. Two two is a four. I am writing since I have added two atoms on LHS of hydrogen to the original uh, to the equation which we got just now. Multiply two on LHS of hydrogen. Always write before the compound only. Don't write below. So this is my balanced chemical equation. Next question is mention the required material. in the experiment to verify ohm's law and write the experimental procedure so this was the experiment ohm's law already it came in pre uh, practice paper or pre finals this question again it asked okay eight marks question next twelfth question is magnification of images formed by lens is 1 minus 1.25 then answer the following questions in my pdf i had shared you uh, 
mention the position what is the height of the image this i had shared you and the other questions already i had explained how to write questions if m value is given to you remember i had explained you in the pdf so this question had come okay all four are asked but this question is from the pdf and others also have explained so for this what is the first question magnification is given as minus 1.25 First question it is asking mention the position of the object on the principal axis. Okay, since it is minus one point two five, what is the image? Sorry, yeah, the position of the image is position of the object is between F and C on the principal axis between focus and center of curvature on the principal axis. Okay. Next we have. Second bit mention the height of the image of the object size is two centimeter. So m is equal to h i by h naught. We had to use since it is a concave mirror. M is minus one point two is five is equal to h i by two, right? H i is equal to cross multiply two into minus one point two five. That is minus two point five centimeter. So this is first bit. This is second bit. Okay, the bits are reversed in your question paper. Okay, third bit is mention the characteristics of the image. So how is the image formed? image is third this is a third bit image is formed beyond c real image inverted image and magnified image fourth bit is what kind of lens is used to get this image so what kind of lens is used to get this image concave mirror right Uh, see, uh, the the image, the kind of lens which we use to get this image is convex lens. Since it is asking about lens, okay, because lens we know that concave mirror is same as convex lens. So, what is the fourth bit answer? The fourth bit answer is convex lens is used to get this type of image. Okay. Why am I sharing this? These questions were there in the previous year question papers. Okay, so similar question is asked, but here this question is for mirror. We have to do for lens. Okay. Next question is explain how atomic size and ionization energy changes in groups and periods in modern periodic table. Modern periodic table was very important, right? So, ionization energy. From this, you have to write about ionization energy and atomic. radius or it is also called as atomic size so atomic radius or atomic size the distance between the nucleus and outermost orbit is called as atomic radius how it varies in group atomic radius increases from top to bottom in a group the atomic number of the element increases in period atomic radius of elements decreases across period from left to right as electrons enter into the main shell okay then you can also add some more point from the textbook of atomic radius okay because it is an 8 marks question right what you find suitable you could have written okay next is you also have to write about ionization energy how ionization energy varies in group or period sorry see how ionization energy changes in modern periodic table sorry so this is answer The energy required to remove electron from the outermost orbit or shell in a neutral gaseous atom is called as ionization energy. In a group, ionization energy decreases. Down in the group, period ionization energy increases from left to right in the period. And also, you could have written some more points from the textbook if you had have wanted. Okay. Next, we have write the main features of Bohr's model of hydrogen atom and mention any two limitations. Okay. So this also I explained in PDF. I mean all. I mean, which I'm not saying. Also, all the questions I had mentioned. Okay, so Bohr model is very limited in terms of size. Then we can write it cannot predict the relative intensities of spectral lines. It does not explain Zeeman effect. Okay, and spectral line is split into several components. These are the limitations of Bohr's model of hydrogen atom. Okay, next it also asked about uh, the explanation. Right, this is the explanation. Niels Bohr proposed that electrons in an atom occupy stationary orbits. Of fixed energy in different discrete distances from the nucleus. Okay, all this you have to write for Bohr's model of hydrogen atom. So if we analyze the physics paper, it was very 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 easy. Okay, 
no problems were asked okay only one problem was asked of convex convex lens but that is also very easy because you could have known the formula you could have done it and all direct questions and that two questions from pdf for us which i had shared so i hope that you all will pass in tomorrow's i mean in today's physics exam of 2022 okay if you have found this video helpful then like this video share this video and subscribe to this channel